Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. This is going to be a reading for this week. So from November 15th to the 21st, we're going to see what the energy is and what it has in store for you, general-wise and love-wise. I will also be doing my dailies this week, so this is in addition to... So we're going to see. Let's see. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Please utilize that link if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators out there. And I want to make sure you guys are going to the right place. Know that you'll always see my face in a reading if I do a tarot card reading for you, as well as send you an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. And please make sure that you're subscribed if you are a subscriber, because people are emailing me, telling me that they're getting unsubscribed and that they're not getting notifications. So just recheck your notifications, um, unclick the bell, and then click it again if you're not getting them. I appreciate that. Okay, so we have the eight of the eight of pentacles, the ace of wands, the high priestess, the three of wands, the prince of cups, and the king of swords. Hmm. There's something you're holding close to your chest. <laughs> All right, this is something that you're quite excited about, and it's like you're gonna. You feel like you're going to burst, but you know you have to hold back. We're going to see why. That's interesting. It's almost like what you've put out into the universe is coming towards you, right? Or it's here, right? But you know it's here, but you can't say anything. I don't know why. Maybe something else needs to be manifested. Um, like say, say it's a job offer, for instance, right? I'm not getting that. I'm just giving you a, an example. So say it's a job offer, Pisces, and you haven't signed a contract yet, or you haven't accepted the job totally. It's like you want to make sure that this manifests so you're not saying anything, but you, you're bursting at the seams here. There could be also an air sign that's coming towards you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel like this is a love offer. Is that what you're keeping secret? We'll see. Let's see. Because we also have the Eight of Pentacles here, which is work. So clarify the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Okay, so as far as a work situation is concerned... You're going to have clarity. If you've been wondering about a job situation, you're going to get some answers this week. Now, whether this be you sent out resumes and you're getting a job offer, you're getting an answer. Hmm. Can I have one more? And then I'm going to get a, um, a kipper. Can I have one more on this one? <laughs> so you've been feeling like this has been taking a while with the Prince of Pentacles here. Okay, this has been slow going. So you've been a little bit guarded as it pertains to this work situation here. Mm, but it's going to be good news. Whatever this work situation is, it's bringing you a lot of abundance here. Great fortune. So, no worries in that arena. So, let's see about this Ace of Wands. Now, this, ooh, Taurus, Libra energy. So, it could be a Taurus or a Libra that's coming towards you. This could be somebody from the past that you walked away from. They walked away from you. There's a lot of passion between you, though. Could be an earth energy. 
Is that why you don't want to say anything? Can I have one more? Eight of Swords. Yeah. So you're getting a love offer. Same person. All right. This is the same person. It could be a Libra because you get the King of Swords here and the Empress. Then you've all, well, you've got the, I feel like all three are the same person. Let's get a Kipper. What does this Kipper say? Concern. Why are you concerned? Ooh, we've got two of them here. Toil and labor. An official person. So this love offer is coming in from somebody possibly from the past. It's somebody you walked away from. If it's somebody new, they're walking away from something, someone to come to you. Or they just did that. Like by the time they make you a love offer, it's like they just came from something. But what I'm getting here is you could be concerned about what others are going to think, especially if this is a past person, Pisces. And before you make a final decision, because you are all up in your head about this, you're excited about it. The Ace of Wands is here. You're very excited about it, but you're not sure what you're going to do. And you want to make sure that you make the decision and that nobody else has their say, so to speak, in your life. So this is why you're keeping it to yourself here. Tell me about the high priestess here. This is you. You're trying to listen to your intuition here. Tell me about the high priestess and the situation. Tell me. Queen of Wands. You're standing in your power. You want to be standing in your power. And that's why you're not going to give your power away to anybody. That's why you're not saying anything to anybody about this situation that's coming back from the past. Give me another one on this High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. Death. Yeah. This wants to be revived. This is the past wanting to be resurrected. So you're listening to your intuition with the Prince of Swords here. That's what you're relying on. You're going with your... Yeah, courtship. See? There's no way you're listening to your mind on this. So you will release yourself from this mental prison. Because you're relying more on your intuition here than anything. Should you resurrect this? Should you not? Tell me about the Three of Wands. This person could be at a distance as well. Here we have Libra again with the Justice card. This is that decision. You may have been waiting for this offer to come in as well. And it's like finally here. And this is why you're so excited. That's why I was feeling with the High Priestess here, Pisces, it's like you're bursting at the seams. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. Wow. The five of cups. Okay. So you're trying to weigh this out. You're like, oh my God, there's so much abundance and happiness here. But look what happened in the past. Is this going to be a repeat in the future? Are you only looking at the negative in the past? You're trying to weigh this out. You're trying to be fair to the situation. Poverty. Yeah. Give me another one for poverty. Because you don't want to make this decision from a place of lack, sudden wealth. Oh, geez. It's like five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, right? And look at this. You get the ten of pentacles and five of cups. Try not to make this from a space of lack. And, that, and I feel like you know this because that's why justice is here. And justice to me, not only is twin flame energy, but talks about listening to your intuition above all. So say you've got, you know, you've got Libra, which is the scales. If, if on the one hand you feel lack and on the other you feel abundance and it's weighing out the same, you're going to rely on your intuition to make that decision.
clarifying the Prince of Cups <laughs> is the Princess of Swords. Yep. Um, your intuition, you may even know or sense this person coming before they even get here. The devil. You're looking at the toxicity that existed within this relationship here. Strength. You're very much trying to make this a fair game. You're not wanting to focus all on the negative. Nine of Pentacles. You're really looking at all different aspects. I mean, I'm quite impressed, Pisces. You're not leaning one way or the other. You're, you're looking at all different perspectives here before you make this decision, which is freaking awesome. And the fact that you're not telling anybody about it, you're just letting this all sink in and deciding for yourself Okay, whether or not you want to revive this is very admirable, I must say. So let's see about this King of Swords. Eight of Wands, they're coming in quick. That's the eight hours of love there. They have a lot of love for you. Wait a minute. Give me another one for this King of Swords. King of Cups. Yeah, this is an Emperor. And I spied the Emperor here too. The King of, I told you, King of Wands here. So you've got everybody but the King of um, Pentacles out right now. So this person is coming in very strong. They're showing you their heart. They're showing you their passion. They're showing you their intellect. I don't even think they need to show you that King of Pentacles. Well, King of Pentacles is also it, not only stability as far as money-wise, because they feel like you already know that. Um, stability as far as uh, loyalty, maybe you need to see that. Ah, and look at that. That was flipped over, the Emperor. I told you it was an Emperor. Let me get a Kipper. There's the Kipper. What does Kipper say about this row? bad health. Be careful. Make sure that be privileged lady. Make sure that because you're not telling anybody about this, right? Pisces, you have to remember it's energy and you're bursting at the seams. You need to release this energy. So you need to write about it, talk about it into a tape recorder or something or your phone. Uh, get that energy out. You need to translate that energy. Okay. Go to the gym. I don't know. This energy needs to be let out because if not, it's going to turn into something you don't want it to. Okay? Because energy must transform into something. It can't remain. It has to express itself, right? So just be careful because you're not releasing that energy uh, and telling others about this. You need to tell something. The paper. You know, the pen, the, whatever it is, please let it out. Okay. Ten of Wands. Princess of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. This person's intention. That's what I asked. Is the Ten of Wands, the Princess of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. They want change. They want to work on things. They want to, mm, I feel like they want to relieve a burden from you, but I'm also getting they want to work on things, but they do want to take this slow because I feel like they know you're going to take this slow. So they're willing to do that. They want to start new. They want a brand new chapter. Okay, this time around. They've done a lot of reflection here. Okay, so that's going to be up to you, Pisces, all right? But you are excited about this. So you have stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. So remind yourself, Pisces, I mean, 
you are the connection. You are the 12th house in astrology. You're the dreamer. You are the spiritualist. Okay. Just remember to stay connected here. And let's get an angel number message for you. 16. I am perceptive that you are. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So share that knowledge, share that intuitive prowess that you have, Pisces, okay? All right, Pisces, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info's down in the description box below. And please don't forget to use that link if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running amok within the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that will be yours to utilize forever here on YouTube. Have a fantastic day and week, Pisces, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.